Good morning and welcome to Intermountain Healthcare's fitness class. My name is Lisa Tunison and I'm the Community Event Specialist at Intermountain Healthcare. We're thrilled to offer these virtual classes, helping you live your healthiest life possible. Today, local instructor Kathleen will lead us through our balance class. And with that, I will turn it over to Kathleen. Thanks, Lisa. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, glad to see there's such a good group today. Looks like we have yeah. almost 10. Great. That's wonderful. Um, I've kind of moved myself around today. It's a little dark if you're here in Las Vegas, so I'm trying to uh, get some good light so you can see. So make sure that you've got a chair or somewhere, um, something that you can hold on to. We will be sitting and standing as well. So um, somewhere comfortable that you can sit and you feel secure, uh, you're not going to slide around anywhere. Um, also have some water. And um, because the music doesn't always transfer well through the WebEx, feel free to put some music on in the background to, uh, to enjoy while we're moving through these exercises today. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Give you another second if you need to grab your water or turn your music on or just make sure your uh, chair is in a secure place. And then we're ready to go. <clears throat> so working today on um, a lot of different balance exercises. Just make sure you can see all of me where I'm at standing here. There we go. Let's see if that works a little better. <clears throat> It's always a little challenging to get all the technology working right, but let's see if we've got it today. Okay, so keeping your chair close if you need it, of course, for balance. Actually, let's just start sitting down for a second. So have a seat wherever you are. Let's just get our body warmed up and ready to work a little bit. Okay, so take a deep breath in, bring your shoulders, shrug them up towards your ears, and then slowly let them release down. Good, relax your hands on your thighs. Nice big inhale, shrug up. And exhale, roll back and down. Good, let's try two more just like that. You're just starting to warm your body up. Let's just get the muscles ready for all of the balance because that's what we're gonna do is ask our muscles to support us in these balance exercises and maybe challenges, right? Good. Let's take a nice big inhale. Arms are reaching down. Fingers are open wide. Stretch your arms up. Take a breath in. And then slowly exhale. Drop them down. Good. Nice big inhale. Stretch. And exhale. Let's take two more like that. And then take that inhale. Stretch up. Drop your left arm over to the side and just take an easy side bend. You might hang on to your chair. Just kind of take a nice side bend over, find a good side stretch for a moment, maybe circle your wrist, open and close your hands. Beautiful, inhale, stretch up and let's take it to the other side as you exhale. Good, circle out that wrist, open and close the hand. And bring yourself all the way back up. Nice work. Let's just give our um, legs just a little bit of uh, easy work here to start out. Hold under one thigh, just so you can get the foot off the floor. Give yourself a little circle of that ankle rotating. And then take it the opposite way, nice and easy. Push down towards the floor, press the toes, and then pull them back towards your shin. Relax those shoulders. Gentle press and pull. Good. 
and then add a little bit of circular motion from the hip. You can still support under your thigh, nice and easy. And we'll gently reverse it. Good. So if you haven't done anything else yet today, these few just moments of um, easy movement, warm up will get your body prepared as you fall on it to be more of a balance today. Good, let's switch sides. Lift up so that that foot is off the floor, rotate at the ankle. Good, relax your shoulders, switch your direction. And then point and pull nice and easy. Pressing the toes down towards the floor and then drawing them back up. And then let's add that movement from the hip. Slow motions, small start small and as it feels better, maybe you start to make a bigger movement and switch the direction. Nice work, everybody. Drop both feet down on the floor. Let's take a nice big inhale, reach all the way up, look up. And as you exhale, drop the arms, drop the chin towards your chest. And then roll it over to one shoulder, nice and easy. Bring it across to the other side. And slowly back to center. Great work, everybody. Let's start with an easy sitting march. So start by lifting those legs, marching in your chair. Don't worry, I'll let you stand up in a moment. And add a little bit of arms. So as one knee lifts, take the other arm, punch it up towards the sky. And you can keep it going here. And then punch up and hold and switch. Okay, so my left leg is lifted, my right arm goes up. Good, see if you can hold for that moment, pause and then switch. Good, I want you to keep that going. Those of you that feel ready to stand up and feel like this is an option for you, maybe you're holding on one hand, but finding your march here on the floor. So nice and easy if your standing shoulders are relaxed. And maybe you're adding that same opposite arm and a hold. Right, so if your balance feels off, be to the side of your chair, have one hand for help. If you feel good and your balance in this movement feels okay, see if you can find that pause, draw your belly in, Keep your chin lifted. Nice work for four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it down, give yourself a little shake out. Get those hips starting to warm up. Okay, we're gonna walk our feet a little wider. So remember, wider the feet, the better the base you have. We're gonna make it close. Closer feet, the harder it is. But let's start wide. So your chair can be somewhere where you can grab onto it. Your feet are wide. And we're just going to take our weight over onto one side, reach that opposite toe. And then we shift it over other side and reaching the toe. Okay, so you might be right behind your chair as you shift side to side. Okay, take your time, keep your legs long. 
draw your belly in and relax your shoulders. If you want a little more work, you might take one or both arms out to the side. Okay, so I'll give you a progression and I'll make it um, a little bit harder with each movement and you stay wherever it feels like it's okay for your body. If you're challenged, then that's perfect. So now as you shift, you might shift to one side and just hover that toe. And then take it the other side and hover. So keep your belly engaged, be really tall. The knee on that supporting leg has a little bend, right? So you haven't locked the knee. And of course, if you need that help, you're holding on. So think of the way that a pendulum might swing as you go side to side. Let's try it one more on each leg. Okay, take it back to that right leg. Take that left leg out to the side. Stand tall, hang on if you need to. And then pull your left toes towards your shin. So like you're pushing the heel to the floor. And then lift that leg to the side. Abduction and adduction of your leg. Using the hip, using the inner thigh. And can you make it harder by just hovering your hand off of your chair? Good. Use your eyes to focus on something out in front that's not moving. Last two. And last one. Good. Shift your weight back to both legs. Give yourself a little shake. Okay, if you need to adjust where you are for holding on, I'll just switch my chair. A standing left leg, slight bend to the knee, right leg reaches, point the toe to start. So I know your body wants to tilt, but I want you to stand up tall and engage your glutes and thighs. Pull your toes of the right foot towards your shin, and then we lift and lower. And maybe hovering or just being on one fingertip to make it more challenging. You might feel your ankle be a little wobbly. That's okay. You're recruiting those stabilizers. Last four. Good work. Draw your belly in for three. Two. And one. Great job, put both feet down, give yourself a little roll, little shake out. A little prance, lifting one heel and then the other. Yeah, feeling it in hips and thighs, right? Okay, good. Strengthening up those balance muscles. Okay, so now be standing behind your chair. I'll turn myself sideways so you can see what my feet are doing. Okay, be really tall, press your fingers down. And your feet are about hip distance apart. Okay, so their toes are to 12 o'clock, but pointing straight ahead. Okay, take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, pull your toes, come back onto the heels and then lower them down. Okay, so you're going to feel a little bit of a rock through your body. Try not to bend the hips. Keep the hips long and in line over your ankles. I want you to just lift those toes, pull them towards your shins. Good. Feel yourself be a little bit taller. Last four. And three. Two. 
And last one, we're gonna go right into lifting the heels. So this time, come on the toes, come up off the heels and lower down. Good. Fingertips make it harder, hovering hands or maybe even reaching arms as you lift. This time, come on all the way up. See if you can hold it. Okay, focus on that point in front of you that's not moving. Arms are reaching. Can you keep the heels lifted and just bend the knees and stand up tall? Good. Lower and lift. Three more here. You're looking great. Stay with me. Last two. And last one. Beautiful. Bring it down. Give yourself a little shake out. Have a quick drink of water. You're doing great. So balance, right, doesn't just come from our body and our muscles, it comes from our vision, which is why when you are standing still and trying to keep yourself from moving around, you should try to find a focal point out in front of you. Use your eyes, because I'm going to show you in a moment how when you close your eyes, that will really affect the way you feel um, standing or even sitting sometimes. Okay, so let's take our feet again a little bit wider. You can have your chair in front of you, okay, for help. I'm just going to take it to the side so you can see what happens with my legs. Okay, take your feet wide, turn your toes just a little bit out to the side. And then I want you to bend your left knee keep your right leg long. Shift over to your left. And then come up tall, bend the right knee, and shift to the right. Okay, so if your chair is in front of you, that's great. Use it for, again, balance, maybe just a fingertip or hovering the hands. As you go to the side, take that exhale. Inhale, straighten up and the other side. You might take the arms out, shifting side to side. And if you want to make it a little bit more challenging as you shift over the long leg, pick up your toes. That makes it a little bit more challenging, doesn't it? Shift side to side. Maybe you add a little movement with your arms. That makes it more challenging too. Okay, but keep your chair in front of you or be next to your wall for any kind of quick help. Let's go for four. And three. Exhale, two, and one. Great job, everybody. Bring yourself back to center. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Toes are pointing straight ahead, soft knees. And then without picking your feet up, just start to sway your body around in a circle. So maybe arms out, maybe your chair for help, maybe hands to hips. I want you to just sway around, maybe lean a little bit forward and a little bit back, side to side. I want it just to feel challenging for you as you shift your weight. But now switch that direction of your circle. Roll through your feet. You can maybe pick up a heel if that starts to be a little more challenging for you. 
Keep the knees soft. And then after this next one, bring yourself back to center nice and tall. Take a deep breath, reach up. Drop your left arm alongside and take that side bend over. Maybe even turn your head and look towards the left. Good. Inhale your way back over. Drop your right arm, lift your left, and take that side bend. Just finding a nice side stretch. And turn your head, look down towards the right. And bring yourself all the way back. Nice work, everybody. Walk your feet in. Give yourself a little shake out. So finding yourself again with your feet somewhat close together, not touching, but feet, toes pointing to 12 o'clock, chair where, um, to one side this time. So you've got some movement and room in front of you. Okay, so I'm holding on with my right hand and I begin to stand on my left leg. So I shift my weight over I might come to the toe of my right foot. Okay, some of you will hover your right foot and some of you are gonna to continue to bend the knee. Try to keep the hips level. And you might bring your thigh so it's parallel to the floor. Okay, so I'm on my outside leg. My leg closest to the chair is lifted. And I stand just a little bit taller. But now see if you can extend that leg out. Show me the bottom of your shoe. And then bend and bring it back. Good, kick it out and bring it back. Take your time. Good, let's do two more. Make sure your knee is soft on that standing leg. Hold out, your toe is up, and just show me some little pulses. For four, three, two, and bring it all the way down. Good, shake it out. Make sure your chair is just a little bit forward. We're using that same inside leg. And I take it back just on a diagonal with my toe on the floor. Okay, so my feet, my, my left foot toes are forward. My right leg, my toe is back on the, on the toe. My heel is lifted and my chair is close in case I need some help. See if you can reach out with your left arm. So it's a long line, left fingertips to right toe. So are you pulling your belly in? Good. Can you hover the right toe off the floor? Remember, when it's challenging for you and you don't want to struggle, but you want to feel like it's a little bit hard, stop. Okay. Some of you are going to now bend the elbow, bend the knee and see if you can touch. And now straighten out, inhale. Exhale, use your belly, have a little crunch. Straighten out, reach. But maybe you're just on one fingertip on your chair, making it as high level for you as, as you can feel like you can do this morning. Good, try to slow it down as you let that elbow and knee beat. Last two. And stretch out last one. And put both feet down, shake it out. Good work, everybody. Shake out your arms, give yourself a little shake. 
little side to side, easy twist. All right, I know I'm gonna forget all this same stuff on the other side, so you'll forgive me when it's out of order. Let's do one more here. Okay, my right hand is still on my chair. This time I stand on my right leg. Begin to bend my left knee. See if you can hover it off the floor, thigh parallel to that floor. And see if you can begin to stir using your toe. So with this one, it's easy to start to lean to the right, start to feel like you're kind of drooping and your body starts to, to uh, fall down a little bit. I want you to stand up really tall on that right leg. Come to your fingertip to make it harder or add some arms. Move them around or maybe just one arm as you hold on. Good, switch the direction of that leg, stir. This is a hard one. So you stop where you need to. Last three and two and one. Bring it down, shake it out. Yeah, it's a lot of hips, right? Stand facing your chair, walk your, your feet back. Let's just get a little stretch. Ankles underneath hips. Take a deep breath and now drop your chest as you push your hips back and just get a nice stretch of those hamstrings. Good, take another deep breath in and full exhale out. Good. Keep your back long as you start to walk it forward and stand up straight. All right. Great job. Let's switch it because you've got two legs. I can't let you be unbalanced. So switch over to the other side. You've got your chair under your left hand. Okay. Your feet are hip distance apart. And we're going to start by standing on our outside leg. So standing right, maybe just bending and keeping your toe down. Maybe you just hover the foot of the left leg off the floor or bring that knee up for more challenge. And then whichever level you decided on, begin to extend through the knee and maybe it's low. So you're just taking it out along the floor and bringing it back. If you're high, kick out, toe up, heel down. Good, nice work, everybody. Let's try two more. And then take that leg out, hold it. Show me some little pulses to the sky. Good, soft right knee, stand a little taller for three, two, one, and bring it down, shake it out. Good work. Okay, you might slide your chair just a little forward. This time, left leg is back on the diagonal. Okay. Keep yourself tall, relax those shoulders, engage your core. Okay. A lot of work coming from the belly. Maybe you reach your right arm. So watch that right knee. It wants to lock. Okay. We want to make sure it stays soft. You might hover that left foot keeping a fingertip or two or your whole hand on your chair. No weight though. Don't put the weight into the arm. Just use the hand for balance. But if you can do more here, we crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch long. Good, exhale, inhale. There's no rush, so take it slow. 
Okay, feel the belly do the work here. Crunch it in for three. Exhale, two. And last one. Beautiful. Put your feet down. Give yourself that shake out. Roll those shoulders. Water break coming up. Let's finish this side. Okay. Get yourself nice and tall. This side, this time you're standing on the inside leg. So the leg closest to your chair. Okay. Begin to bend that outside leg. Bringing it up. And then we begin to stir. So a hip is still using the toe and the lower part of your leg from your knee. Be on one fingertip to make it harder or maybe add those arms for that balance challenge. Good, switch it the other way, last few. And three. Two, and last one. Nice work. Bring your legs down. Give yourself a shake out. Have a quick drink, and then come and have a seat in your chair. How are you feeling so far? I hope you're feeling good. I know you can't really talk back to me, but maybe you are. So I hope everything is feeling well. You're starting to loosen up, feel a little warmer, right? Your body's working, your blood's flowing. Okay. So one of the um, best exercises for us for balance is called a sit to stand, right? It seems like it should be fairly uh, easy, but some of us might have some trouble getting up and down out of the chairs. But this one, it engages your whole body in order to do that. Okay, so if you have arms on your chair, okay, first of all, make sure it's somewhere you're not going to move. Okay, if you have arms, you can certainly use a little bit of help. But what I want you to think about is the legs and the belly being engaged to help you stand up. Okay, if you're used to doing this, you might cross your arms and have some genie arms and not use the upper body for that help. Okay, so your feet are slightly apart again, toes to 12 o'clock. Decide what you're gonna do. And when you stand up, make sure your chair doesn't slide from behind you. We wanna make sure it's right where you left it when you go to sit down. Okay, so let's take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, push into your feet and stand up tall. And then slowly bring yourself back down. Adjust if you need to. Deep breath in. Exhale, press up. Right, so you know that if your arms are crossed, you're challenging your balance. It's harder to stand yourself up. Exhale. Good, put the weight into your heels. We do this at the Y a lot. So when I'm teaching my classes there in person, this is a great one for my groups. And I think last week we were up to 20. I know, it sounds like a lot, right? But let's see if we've got three more here. Take your time, there's no rush. If you need to take a break, you take it. And then we've got one more. Good, so now as you go to sit down, I want you to just hover. So almost sit down, stand up. Almost sit down, good, stand up. And what happens, my hips, hips shift back, my, my spine stays long, my chest is lifted, the weight's in my heels. 
I know you thought you were done, right? Last couple looking good, everybody. Good, take it down, hover, hover just an inch or two over your chair for three, two, one, hands to the chair and sit yourself down. Oh, nice work. Big shoulder rolls. Take a deep breath. Do you feel your heart rate get up a little bit too? Yeah. Get some cardio in there as well. Anything that gets your heart rate up, cardio. Good, relax your shoulders. Close your eyes for a minute. Let's just take a quick breather. Take a deep breath in and drop that chin to your chest. Okay, roll it gently over to that left shoulder. If you went right, that's okay. And then slowly roll it across over to the other side. And bring it back. Good. Lift the chin parallel to the floor. Take a deep breath. And this time, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Remember, don't overstretch. Might feel a little uncomfortable, but it should never be painful or forced. And then we gently breathe in, come back to center, and exhale over. Inhale, come on up, and let's just take one big breath, stretch up, and slowly release it down. Great work, everybody. Start to make your way back up behind your chair. Make sure you've got some space, because we're going to do a little bit of what we call hip extension this time. Have a quick drink of water as you come up if you need it. So I'm going to, again, turn myself sideways, but I still want you to be standing behind your chair, hips facing towards the chair. And always use your hip bones right here. Kind of think of them as headlights. They should shine straight ahead, right? So you're balanced. If you're turned sideways, right, you need to have those hips facing straight. So I find myself here now with my fingertips on my chair. And before we went out to the side, this time I want you to stand right and take your left leg back. Okay, so left toes on the floor. And right away, your body wants to open to the left. So encourage it to stay straight ahead. Soft right knee. Draw your belly in. See if you can lift up with that left foot. Just hover it off the floor. Good. Now, can you engage through your hamstring and glute and lift the leg and tap the toe? Okay, so stand tall. Don't tip yourself forward yet. I want you to engage the back of your leg and your glute to lift that leg, exhale, exhale. Nice work, everybody, two more. Good, now lift it and hold, and maybe you might start to tip yourself forward a little bit, not too much weight in the hands. So keep those hips facing your chair, lift that back leg, maybe you extend an arm. Deep breath, deep breath. If you feel balanced, maybe you hover the left hand or reach both arms for your warrior three. Good, hold it for three, two, and slowly stand yourself up. Uh -huh. Right, so not only did you feel left leg, if you feel your right leg and your glute, mm -hmm. that's what'll do it. 
right, so give yourself a little shake out, roll your shoulders. And remember, you might not go any further today than just taking the toe back and hovering it off the floor, and that's perfect. Okay, so let's take the other leg back, right leg back, stands left, be really tall. Take a deep breath and then start to just hover your right toes. You feel a little wobbly, that's okay. Engage all of those stabilizer muscles, pull your belly in and now squeeze and lift, tap down with the right leg. Squeeze, lift. Good, don't lean your torso forward, stand up upright, chest is open for four and three, two. Good, now see if you can just hold. Some of you might begin to tip forward. Soft left knee. And if you're going further, you might reach one arm or maybe both. And we hold for three and two and one. And then stand yourself all the way up. Great job, everybody. That one's hard. Let's take a side bend and just give a stretch out. Chair under my right hand, feet together. Inhale, lift and exhale towards the chair. Deep breath. Good, come on up. Same side, but this time take your left foot and cross it in front of your right. Okay, if that doesn't work, keep both feet next to each other. Left arm, inhale up and exhale side bend over. Boy, that feels good for your side, doesn't it? And then see if you just turn the chest a little toward your chair. Inhale, come all the way up and unwind the legs. Good. Either just turn yourself around now so you're holding left hand or if your chair is easy to switch like mine is, you can bring it to the other side. So feet together first, toes straight, left hand on. Inhale your right arm up and exhale as you go over. Good, relax those shoulders. And we inhale and release. Good, this time cross the right ankle in front of the left. Again, it's gonna challenge your balance too, as well as give you more stretch on that right side. Inhale and exhale. Relax the shoulders, maybe even close your eyes. And then turn just a little bit chest towards the top of your chair. And bring yourself all the way up. Unwind the legs. Great job, everybody. Doing great. I hope you're feeling good. Two thumbs up. Quick drink if you need it. We've got time for a couple of more here. So let's work on our tree pose a bit. And I think you remembered from before I mentioned to you about um, your vision and how when you um, look at a certain focal point when you're trying to balance, that will help you. But I think I also told you that if you close your eyes, that's going to throw you off. So here's one where you can actually try that. Okay, so I'm standing with my left hand on my chair to my side. I'm going to stand on my left leg. And with my right leg, I'm going to turn out from my hip, right? So, yeah, my hips want to go with me, but you remember those headlights? Straight ahead. Put your heel right into the arch of your left foot. 
Okay, so there's your level one. And you might feel if you pick up your hand, this is bouncy enough for you today. Okay. Going further, bend the right knee, come to the toe of the right foot, and maybe place the foot against the ankle area. This, with no hands, may be balanced enough for you today. Or bring it to the, at that inner calf. You can keep your fingers and hand on the chair. You might bring your hands to your heart. Some of you might grow your branches. So I have something right behind my camera that I'm focused on. And you should do the same. Pick something in front of you, focal, have a focal point. And maybe you might find a little movement. But now, whatever you chose to do, place your hand back on your chair and close your eyes. And if that's too much, just lower your gaze, look right to the floor, very light gaze. But by closing your eyes, you should feel a little bit more wobbly. You should feel the muscles in your ankle. Maybe this one, you have to put your toe down or go back to level one. Heel into the arch. But draw your belly in, relax those shoulders. Stay for one more breath. And then begin to blink the eyes open, relax your arms. Bring your feet back together and shake it out. Yeah, it was harder, right, with the eyes closed? She took off the ability for your vision to help you out with your balance when you closed your eyes. Okay, so you can now, again, either just turn yourself around or move your chair, whatever works best for you for the other side. Okay, so I'll be standing right. You know your options are to turn the left leg out from the hip, heel, into that arch. Harder on the toe, bending the knee, or bringing that foot against your calf. Okay, so find the focal point first, something that you are focused on. Maybe one or both hands to heart, or grow your branches. Try to keep your right knee slightly soft and your breath steady. You want to add a little movement while your eyes are open. Take a little movement. Good. Now bringing that right hand back down to the chair. See if you can close your eyes. Maybe just be on a fingertip back of the chair. Or, or revert back to toe of your left foot down or your foot flat on the floor. Good. We're staying for three. And two. And last one. Beautiful. Place your feet down. Great work, everybody. Let's take a stretch for these legs and our back. Face your chair. And again, I'll turn sideways so you can see what my legs are doing. I step my right foot forward and my left foot not too far back, just about another foot in between, as if I was on railroad tracks. Okay. Face your chair. Take a deep breath. And then pull your elbows to your ribs as you lower your, your body down. Pushing your hips back, feeling a stretch in that front leg. So lift your belly, make sure your body is not twisting. And maybe pick up the toes of the front right foot. Yikes, back of that right leg. Tight, isn't it? Or is that just me? Good. 
Good. We take one more full breath here. Push your hips just a little further. And then slowly bring it up. And let's switch feet. Left foot steps forward, right steps back, toes are to 12 o'clock. Deep breath and exhale, lower that upper body. And now let's pick up the left toes of that front foot, pull them back toward your shin. Keep taking a few deep breaths. And slowly as you inhale, lower the toes and stand yourself up. Great job, everyone. Give yourself that shake out, maybe a shoulder roll, maybe that side stretch if that feels good. Okay, get rid of any tension you might feel. And then let's bring our chair back, have a seat. I'm hoping you're feeling more balanced today. I know in general, we sometimes feel off kilter. One side doesn't feel the same. And sometimes the balance isn't even about our body, right? It's more about our mind or just kind of how we are feeling in general. So um, working on your body balance it yeah, helps put the rest of things in perspective and uh, makes things feel a little bit better for you as well. Good work. So let's keep our left foot on the floor. Take your right foot. We're going to just get another stretch for the hips. Either cross the ankle, cross the legs, or if your hip feels okay today, drop the knee out to the side. Keep your hips back in your chair. Take a deep breath. And again, keeping your spine long, just begin to come forward. So I keep my chest open. I don't round my back too much. I try to feel the stretch in my hip and my glutes. And if I'm not feeling too much on this right hip, just take your upper body a little to the left. Yeah, that might do it. Good. On your next inhale, bring your body back up. Leave your legs where they are. Reach your arms out in front. As you exhale, start to twist right. Turn your palms down and let the arms come alongside you, just helping you sit a little taller. Remember never to force yourself if something doesn't feel right, back out of it. And then leave your left hand on your thigh, reach your right arm out, come back to center and take that side bend. Too much in the shoulder, bring your arm more forward. And if it feels better for your neck, turn and look to the floor on the left. Good, inhale your way up, relax, unwind. Let's do the other side. Ankle, cross, or your figure four for your pigeon stretch. A deep breath in, chest is open as you come forward, exhale. Keep that chest lifted, push your hips back, and maybe shift the torso a little to the right. If you need more left side stretch, good work. Deep breaths. And then bring yourself back up, leave your legs, reach the arms, deep breath in. We twist left, dropping the arms alongside of us, sitting tall. And then right hand stays on your thigh. Come back to center, stretch your left arm out, and then inhale up and over. And 
Nice work. Take one more big breath in and then slowly bring yourself all the way up. Unwind your legs. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. Maybe a nice big inhale and exhale on that shoulder shrug. And let's just take one big breath in for the rest of the day. Stretch up and exhale. Come all the way down. So I thank you so much today for joining me. I hope you had fun. I hope you feel a little more balanced today. I'm so glad to see so many people on here. It's wonderful. 12 people today. That's great. So thank you to Lisa. She's back on. I think she'll say bye. And have a great week. I'll see you next week. Same time, same place for yoga and um, a little meditation. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you, Kathleen. That was wonderful. Yes, we have yoga um, coming up on Tuesday. And then also we have our doc talk this Thursday, followed by a Medicare 101. So I wish everybody a wonderful week and we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.